Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good too, thanks so much for asking. <laughs> what is your name? My name is Christy, what is your name? It's nice to meet you, Christy, I'm Richard. Richard, nice to meet you, where are you from? I'm calling you from Brazil. Oh, very cool, what part of Brazil? I live in Sao oh. Close the door, please, one minute. Okay. <laughs> Okay, that's good. <laughs> I'm I'm living in São Paulo. What about you? Okay. Where do you live in? I am right now. I'm living in um, North Carolina in the United States. But I was living cool. in Ecuador. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah. <laughs> that's really cool. Not far, so. <laughs> yeah. Do you live in the capital? Is it Quito? Oh yeah, it's Quito. I I no, I don't live. Well, I wasn't living in Quito. I was living in a city in the mountains called Cuenca. Ah, uh -huh, that's cool. Yeah. And what is the reason? Why did you move from the United States to Ecuador? Um. Well, I moved in 2018. I was doing volunteer work in Ecuador with my best friend, and we just loved it. I loved it so much that I ended up going back last year. And I was there up until everything happened with the coronavirus. So that's when I came back mm -hmm. and I've been living with my parents here. So I hope to go back to Ecuador once it's safe again. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's awesome. That's really great to you. You fell in love with the country. Oh, yes, I love it. And I've never been to Brazil, but I hear that it's amazing. You haven't? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you should probably come here. It's a great country. Yeah. And I'd love to go to your country, the United States, yeah, <laughs> as well. Definitely. I, I've been planning on going there. I don't know when, but God willing, as soon as possible, I'll go there. That's <laughs> awesome. Um, so have you ever traveled outside of Brazil? No, I have not. I'd love to. I, I've, I've only traveled here inside of Brazil. Okay but just to a few places a few states okay two to be more specific <laughs> rio janeiro and also maceo oh okay. it's in the state of alagoas very cool it's in the northeastern area of brazil mm. so it takes about three hours by plane from where i live wow so yeah it's kind of far. Yeah. Right? Well, Brazil is so big that it takes a while to travel from one state to the next. Exactly. Brazil is so huge. And a lot of people don't want to go outside of Brazil. They, mm. uh, they f would like to visit Brazil first, the entire, the entire country, uh -huh. before going to another one, right? Really? Yeah, yeah. Um, I have some friends that went to Brazil and they went to a place called Santa Catarina. Santa Catarina, oh, it's the, in the south. Yeah. It's in the south of Brazil. They really liked it. So I hope that someday I can go to Santa Catarina. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Especially because a lot of people uh, from the United States, from other countries, they usually go to Sao Paulo or to Rio de Janeiro, to Bahia. That's great, you know, they go to Santa Catarina. Yeah, too. yeah, they really liked it. They said it was beautiful, that the mountains and the landscapes were really nice. So you live in Brazil, so that means your first language is Portuguese? Yeah, my first language is Portuguese, oh. and I I've also been studying English and as well as Spanish. Very cool. Um, I speak yeah. Spanish fluently. I've been speaking it since I was a kid, so we have that in common. <laughs> yeah, that does. But my Spanish is not that good. Uh -huh. I'm still a beginner at it, at it, but I'd love to develop my Spanish. I think it's uh, a, the beauty of Spanish. It attracts me a lot yeah it, it, it's similar to portuguese mm -hmm. and but the way the accent it's so beautiful i like it yeah i love the language i think it's such a pretty language and it is similar to portuguese because some words and some phrases i understand in portuguese even though i don't speak it uh, i can understand some things because it's very similar to spanish yeah that's awesome but we just we have to be careful because 
they are false cognates yeah. <laughs> words we see we think we think there are for example words to be the same but they are completely different exactly. for example taza taza in spanish it it It's similar to taça in Portuguese, but taça in Portuguese, it's glass, and taza in Spanish, it's a cup, right? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so, oh my God, imagine saying, I'd like uh, a taza of, uh, a taza of vinho, no, it's like a taza of vinho, for example, <laughs> a taza of wine. Yeah. <laughs> it would be weird. That would be very weird. <laughs> yeah, but especially but i think native speakers when we say that we are not from the country i think they understand yeah. ah i know what you mean yeah. <laughs> and the good thing is that if someone only speaks and understands spanish even if you don't speak spanish or if you're a beginner they can still understand your portuguese since it's so similar yeah so that's cool yeah. <laughs> that's an interesting and what about yeah. your english how did you learn english because you're way better than a beginner at english <laughs> oh, thank you thank you i've been studying english for three years so i've been spending a lot of time on my english and that's really cool i love learning languages and english is my favorite one yeah i love it oh. and as it's so important i give my preference to it good And I feel so proud of my improvement in yeah, English. Definitely. I I obviously didn't know you when you were starting to learn English, but your English is at a very high level right now. You sound wonderful. Thank you. Thank you. I understand 100% of what you, you say. Yeah. You know? yeah. yes, I have been developing my speaking skills and my writing skills because those are really hard <laughs> yeah those are definitely more difficult what do you think has helped you the most with your english learning journey i would say i think what what has been helping me the most i like watching tv shows a lot oh, you know and yeah. it's really great to to watch people interacting with each other and i can you know try to repeat them mm -hmm. and but it's not only i think we don't have only to listen to people we have to try to speak as well yes you know so i think cambly has been helping me a lot to watch by watching tv shows as well as reading so there are so many things it's hard to, to say oh it's, yeah. that's it <laughs> We can't only define one thing. We have to to see the the general thing. Wow. Right? Well, that's amazing. I personally think that watching TV and even listening to music is a huge help because you're forcing your brain to think about what you're listening to in that language. And that helps you also to develop better listening skills to different accents. And that helps you when you're speaking. It really does. Thank you. And that's great. By the way, you you have just said about listening to, to songs. And I was listening to a few songs earlier today. And I came across a word. Could you please explain sure, this? Yeah, definitely. It's like, it's a Justin Bieber song. Uh -huh. It said, Bonafide Stallion. Let me see here. You know what yeah. I mean? That, that song of his, Yummy. Oh, okay, <laughs> yes. That's such a popular song. That's so funny. Yeah, but, yeah, but he uses a lot of slang, I think. Sometimes it's hard to understand what he means. Yeah. Um, so bona fide, it's not a word that's used very commonly. Um, but bona fide basically means... Um, like an enjoyable something enjoyable um mm, well, right. i think when justin bieber is using this phrase um he's just talking about an enjoyable moment mm, i see do you usually use that word in your context no no i actually never say the word bona fide um i i tend to use other words such as enjoyable um something that's easier to understand it's not a word that's commonly used 
Ah, I see. Yeah, that's why I yeah. <laughs> I didn't understand it. Yeah, no problem though. <laughs> Great question. Thank you. And what about the next one? Estelian, I think. Oh, so that's just talking about it's probably talking about stallion, like the beautiful horse. Have you ever seen um, yes, the black stallion? Yeah, I have, but it's but what does he mean by saying stallion? Is that he talking about the I don't know. He's probably Mm, he's probably talking. I'd have to see the context of when he said. Um, let me see here. One minute, yeah. please. I have it right here. One minute. Okay, so it's Do comparing the girl. Yeah, it's comparing the girl to a bona fide stallion. <laughs> so basically, it's saying you're always um, on the run. So uh, it's kind of like. I mean, right? Comparing her to a beautiful, enjoyable oh, stallion. <laughs> I see, but as the stallion, it's a beautiful horse. So he's comparing like the girl is beautiful. Yeah. Like in that yeah. way. Yes. Uh, that's good. And that's he says good. later, always on the run. And, you know, those horses are known for being very good runners. Uh, they're beautiful in every way. So I think it's just comparing her movements to the stallion. <laughs> ah, I see. That's cool. Thank you. Because, you know, uh, I was looking uh, it up on the internet, but the translations, you know, were uh, not that good. Oh, yeah. I was like, I don't know whether it's right or not. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Well, good question. Very good question. Thank you. So the best way is to ask a native speaker. <laughs> yes, exactly. A lot of times um, music artists, they incorporate um, like examples to, to show an example of what the person is like or kind of to describe the moment. So sometimes it doesn't even translate literally. You kind of have to dig deeper and look at the context to understand what it really means. Yes, exactly. So especially when we listen to rap. Yeah, so definitely. completely context. Yes. <laughs> and, <laughs> and rap is interesting because there are so many different metaphors and forms of speech really. It can be tricky to understand the meaning without looking at the lyrics and really understanding what it means. Yeah, I think it doesn't require only the the knowledge of the language, but the culture itself. Yes, exactly. Yeah, right? that's a good point. Yeah, so that's cool. I, I'd like to have that level to understand the rap. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're working your way towards that level, so keep up the good work. <laughs> Thank you. Not, not because I'd like to speak those words, because there's all of that word. Just because I, I'd like to understand, especially when they use this word, and a, I know, yeah. yeah, I know it's not good to say, but I can. I, I'd like to understand it. I think we have to be able to understand those things, right? Yeah. So ain't is just it's not proper. Um, so you could say he ain't funny. That would just mean he isn't funny. So ain't basically means isn't, but it's not proper. <laughs> oh, oh, I ain't seen him either. I ain't seen yeah. him. For example, yeah, exactly. all kind of negative forms, right? Have yeah. Not, didn't, doesn't. Oh, our time <laughs> oh. is about to end. So nice to meet you, Richard. Thank I hope you. to see you again. Yeah, thanks so much. Have a great um, work. Take care. You okay? too. Bye, Richard. Bye.